today we're gonna take a look at a box that is kind of an all-in-one mix bus from Rupert Neve Designs, and it's got one thing that I literally asked for, and I think they did it just because I asked for it. <laughs> Not really, but no, let's get into this. So this is the Rupert Neve Designs MBT, the Master Bus Transformer. This is meant to be a color box. Now I've done videos on top-down mixing and how I start with my mix bus and, and how particular I am about what I put on my mix bus. And then I do almost all of my heavy li lifting with my buses. So just like last time when Rupert Neve Designs hit me up and asked if I would like to try this out before it comes out, before anyone else gets hands on with it, I was like, Absolutely. Yes, I do. I became such a huge fan of their Newton channel strip uh, that I did a video for a couple months ago, and it, I've been using it on every song since I got it, both in the tracking phase and in the mixing phase. And one of my most favorite things about that pre is, is two things. One, how the high pass works with the low EQ, and the silk, the red or blue silk. I praised this to no end in my Newton Channel Strip video. However, in that video, I was like, what I would give to have blue and red silk simultaneously, because on every other product they've ever made, you have to choose between red and blue silk. Finally, we get both independent of each other at the same time, and it is fantastic. Now I'm gonna drop links down below, so if you wanna go see more specs and price and all that kind of stuff, there'll be a link in the description of this video down below to go check this Rupert Neve Design box out. Okay, so let's take a listen to the new Rupert Neve Designs Mix Bus Transformer. Uh, I'm gonna play you a song that I mixed through this. Uh, this song is not out yet, but it's a song by Garrett Biggs, and I'll put Garrett's info down below, so that way you can go check him out if you dig this sort of stuff. So I've done my very best to level match this, and when you hear this engaged, it's actually a half dB quieter on the peak level uh, than when I bypass the whole thing. And so it's it's pretty insane what happens. So let's take a listen here. Burn that country, tip in a cold can, put on some bottom land, straight to a deer bypass. stand, high in a pickup truck, breaking a back road, kick it in four low, roll up a good smoke, yes, it with a cloud of dust. To me, that is a pretty significant difference, especially because when running through all of this, the peak volume is actually quieter by a half dB on that example. Let me walk you through all of these controls and then we're gonna go through the range of controls. And then I wanna test this out on like a drum bus and maybe acoustic guitar bus, a couple other things, because I think this would make an incredible bus processor, not just a mix bus processor. So right up top, you've got an input control here. Uh, this controls how much level hits the entire unit. You've got a high pass, a sweepable high pass uh, with a button to turn it on and off. In your EQ section here, you've got a low frequency that's sweepable from 30 hertz to 240 hertz, uh, and then the amount of that. Uh, on your high EQ, it's sweepable from 3K to 24K, and then the amount with a button to turn it on and off. Then you get to the color compressor. Now, to me, this doesn't necessarily replace my mix bus compressor. This is a compressor for lots of vibe and lots of character and some added saturation. So if you're someone who doesn't really mix with mix bus compression, then this could maybe be the only compressor you use. I use this in conjunction with my actual mix bus compressor, uh, but it does have a ton of character built in. So first up, you've got a high pass filter for the side chain. This controls what frequencies hit the detector circuit of the compressor. You've got a blend knob so you can do parallel compression right in this box, blendable from 0% to 100%. You've got the threshold, uh, the button to turn the compressor on and off. 
you have got the uh, release control, and then you've got a ratio control, high and a low ratio, and the output for the compressor. Next up, width control, and this is incredibly powerful, and I'm gonna do some mono compatibility tests here shortly uh, and show you all of that because it is insanely powerful and collapses to mono perfectly. Uh, high pass filter, so you're only widening frequencies above whatever this filter is set to, uh, the amount of width you would like, and a button to turn the width control on and off. Next up, Super Silk. Now this is exactly what I asked for in my Rupert Neve Design Newton Channel Strip video. I said in that video what I would give to be able to have red and blue silk simultaneously, and for the first time ever, we now have that. So for those of you that don't know what this is, this is a form of transformer saturation. The blue silk uh, saturates like the low mids and the low end, and the red silk saturates like the mid range and upper mid range and high end. And so being able to have both of them and being able to blend them however you want, this is a game changer in the saturation department. I love that the button to turn it on and off is purple because blue and red together and then a master control so that way you can blend these however you want and then have as little or as much uh, saturation as you would like. Finally, we have the Zener Drive which is an additional layer of saturation. On top of it, it can get pretty grindy and pretty dirty if that's what you're going for. So that's very cool. And finally, you have your output control with a big dB meter, uh, a bypass to bypass all of these controls with a single button, which is very cool, and your output control. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do here is turn all of these segments off, and we are going to put them in one by one and show you the range of controls. Here we go. Burn that country, in a cold can, put on some bottom land, straight to a deer stand, high in a pickup truck, freaking a back road, kick it in for low, roll up a good slope, mix it with a cloud of dust,
the way that this high pass filter and the low frequency works together, I'm not sure what slopes these are or anything, but the way these work together is magic. And I felt the exact same way about the Newton channel strip because you can just real like, you would never run this much of a low shelf on your mix bus normally, but there's something about the way that it works with the high pass filter. Let me play around with that and show you. Burn that country up, in a cold can, put on some bottom land, straight to a deer stand. Hi, like that's way too much. Trap, break in a back road, kick it in four low, roll up the gun. When you do slow, that, mix it with a cloud of Man. dust. When the world gets you down, down, down. Burn that country up, in a cold can, put on some bottom Okay, the next thing I really want to show you is the mono compatibility on the width control. So I'm going to turn all the rest of this off so that way we're not hearing anything else get affected and everything else is removed from the mix bus right now. I'm only running this on the mix bus at the moment. So uh, I'm going to show you the difference in stereo and then we're going to flip it to mono. So here we go. We're gonna, let's, let's get really late into it. Let's get super late. Now that is way wider than I would ever actually use in a mix. But now we are in mono, so let's take a listen to this in mono. So without it in mono. Burn that country, tip in a cold can, put on some bottom land, strict to a deer stand, high in a pickup truck, break in a back road, kick it in four low. I really, I really don't know how they're doing that because I hear no difference. I don't hear tonal changes. I don't hear volume changes in anything. Like it folds down to mono in exactly the same way somehow. Uh, but th that's incredible and super powerful. And again, that's just way more heavy handed than I would ever actually use this in a mix on a mix bus, bus context anyway. Just crazy. Okay, so the next thing that I think that this really shines at is drum bus. Uh, I think it'd make a great bus processor for any bus, but we're gonna try this on drum bus and I'm just gonna play some drums and I'm gonna start tweaking all the way through this and then we'll bypass it and see what kind of crazy difference we can make on drums. Here we go. Okay, so that sounds pretty cool. Let's bypass the whole thing. <laughs> That's ridiculous. So all in one drum bus processing, one single box. That's incredible. Good Lord. Okay, let's try acoustic guitar. I like testing acoustic guitar because it's transient and resonance with some note values all in the same. So acoustic guitar is often one of my favorite things to test stuff on because you really get a vibe for what's happening when you run acoustic guitar. Here we go.
thing. Yeah, that's very cool to me. Okay, so the other cool thing that I love about this is you have your input and your output knobs here, and you can kind of use these like a blend control or a mix control, if you will, for the entire box. So if you would like more color out of everything, you would turn this up and level match out there. If you would like less color, you would turn the input down and level match on the output. And so you can really tweak this once you have like the vibe that you want set up, you can really make it much more or less subtle very easily. And let me show you that right now. Dip in a cold can, put on some bottom land, strip to a deer stand, Let's say one way more. And you can really just make this however dirty or clean you want very easily, and I think that's awesome. Drop me a comment below and let me know what you think about this, because honestly, I have got nothing but good things to say about it. Uh, I don't have any cons at all, maybe one. Maybe the only con that I have is it would have been nice to have a mid-range band as well in the EQ section, but I mean, Man, is it incredible. Now this accomplishes quite a few different things for me on my mix bus. Uh, I wanna address a couple things real quick because the last video you guys probably saw of me was my own signature preamp release that was talking about how I used it on the mix bus. Now I still used it on the mix bus. What this Rupert Neve design did for me, what the MBT did for me is eliminate the entire rest of my mix bus chain, all my plugins, because in a normal session, uh, my mix bus would be like some EQ, maybe a couple different EQs, and then my, sign my now signature preamps, and the Serpent SB4001, and like oh, the SPL Big, and like uh, going back into Pro Tools, and then like several different saturation plugins, like the Black Box, and the Tube 3, or sometimes True Iron, or whatever, but it would, it would hit several other things, specifically saturation things, in my mix bus, and this just, it beats all of it. It like takes the place of certainly all of those saturation things. Uh, but I have found myself using zero EQ on the mix bus. I have found myself using uh, zero saturation plugins, no plugins whatsoever. This is, this is an all hardware chain for me. So what I'm doing now is using my signature preamps running to my Servant SB4001 to the Rupert Neve Designs MBT Master Bus Transformer. And that is my entire mix bus. So to go from three different pieces of hardware and like six or seven different plugins down to these couple pieces, I think that's incredible. And to do it obviously better. I, there's something about the saturation uh, in hardware that I really love. Don't get me wrong, plugins have come a long ways, but there's something about turning up a signal into a transformer, into real iron, and what happens electronically, physically, in the physical world. There's some magic to that that just I just don't think it happens in the plug-in world. Plugins are awesome, and they certainly have their place, but it's not the same thing in my opinion. And in addition to the saturation, I mean, there's something about the blue silk, the way that it saturates the low end, and the low band EQ with the high pass filter that gives me the best low end I've ever had in my career. And I don't say that lightly. Like, there's some magic happening there. And I said that in my Newton Channel Strip video as well. The way the low end with the blue silk and the high pass filter, the way that you can like shape and mold the low end is absolutely incredible. I'll drop a link down below to go check this out if you'd like to see more specs and prices and all of that kind of stuff. Don't forget to go check it out. Uh, they are shipping today. They, they got launched today. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and drop me a comment and subscribe if you like this sort of content and you are not yet subscribed yet. I very much appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.